It's another week of the Gouda Ultimate Search. Today we talk the power of the tongue. Let's go. Uh, hi guys, welcome to another episode of Lucy's Quick One. This has got to be the bloodiest eviction for the Gouda Ultimate Search. Now before I tell you what actually happened, here is what happened before what happened happened. Now first of all, you know the, the contestants were already in the camp and they were relieving the entire moment of Olayinka being evicted. Apparently the contestants were already feeling the pressure. Now let's of all, first of all appreciate again our narrator's sarcasm. Celestina. Imagine the chickens were well, out in the water and said, What's the end of the land? What a way to treat a companion. Now, talking about tension in the camp, I think because Olayin Ka was evicted, a lot of tension was building up in the camp. Now, we had a fight between Nembe and Tobi. Um, three. Nembe was there. You didn't say anything. Then there was a fight, a major fight, the highlights of today, the fight between Estima and Mikkel. Mikkel to be more than me. If you give a woman one reason why she is wrong within five minutes, she's going to give you hundred reasons why she's right within two seconds. Two or three times, even before it came close to her, I'm going to kill you. After the show, I'm going to it. What's that? <laughs> you, you, you leave where you they stay. Come, come carry my slippers. Don't they threaten my life on top? You didn't want. I actually knew that it was not going to go down well because this whole fight led to Mikkel threatening Estima and saying, you know what, in this camp where we are, eh, watch your back. And even outside, watch your back because I'm going to you and then you know the fact that the contestants were interviewed about that fight made me to realize that ah this is not going to go down well but i kept on watching but talking about the tension kule comes into the camp and you know just lightens the mood and he shares kilishi with the contestants which i felt was very very like nice and then he also talked to them about his own experiences and how it's very important to listen now let's go into the task of today. I would say that this is even the easiest task that you've had in Good Ultimate Search is when they started because this was actually simple. Now today's task was called the focal point. This is the focal point task. Now apparently this task has to do with the contestants carrying puzzle boards and then aligning those puzzle boards to be able to go look through the holes on those boards. Now at the other end of those boards that have been aligned, you would have like an item that is being showcased there. Now when they look through the item and they are able to see what the item is, they will go to their puzzles and then they will be able to spell out the item that they saw. And it also like encourages them or gives them an idea as to the other two words that they're supposed to fill in there and that was what these guys did that's why i say it was very very easy i think within five minutes these guys were able to like finish the entire puzzle and they were good and then the Iri clan won again for this task i would say that this week luck luck just really shined on these guys because they were just winning back to back saturday and sunday the Amor clan came second and the iroko clan came third good job good job See you at the place of the talking drum. Apparently, like Kunle always says, after every task, the losing team would have somebody go home. So they were asked to go to the place of the talking drum. But first of all, they went back to their camp. And as usual at the camp, a riddle was there. You know, before they, before they went for their task, they had issues with there's no palm oil, there's palm oil and everything. So the riddle was for them to find palm oil and the riddle was for them to find Gary, which they did. Now, still at the camp, while they were preparing for the place of the talking drum, they were asked, okay, who do you think is the strongest team member? Who do you think is the strongest contestant right now? And that was when these guys were just saying, Gerald, Gerald, Gerald. Even me, I was like, ah, ah, okay, oh, Gerald. Even Gerald himself was asked, and Gerald was like, yeah, I think I'm strong. I was like, ah, what do you go? You know yourself, you know yourself, and all of that. Now, they moved to the place of the talking drum, and that is where this bloodiest eviction happened. Now, first of all, Token Makima was the anchor for this evening, and then she, first of all, congratulates the Inring clan, and she rewards them. Now, she goes on to, you know, address the issue between Estima and Mikkel. Mikkel tries to explain himself saying that you know women can be like this. I was like brother, brother me, you are not you are not focusing on what you should be saying. And then he talked about how you know she made him react the way he did react. And then Estima was also asked what happened and then she was like this was what happened and before I knew what was happening he was threatening me. And then Tokemakinwa said from the council of elders Mikkel was evicted from the show. I 
I don't even know how to react to this. I would just say that it's a very big lesson as to how we should learn to control our emotions. Our emotions are a very, very strong too. When we are angry, when we are sad, when we are happy, just be careful of how you use your words because that's what actually what cost Mikhail his time at the Gouda Ultimate Search. Now, when I just thought that, okay, well, since there was an eviction already, that's the end of the entire thing. No, they didn't stop there. The Council of Elders said there must still be an eviction tonight. So the Iroko clan was asked to stand up and just like yesterday, Tokemakewa comes up with some items and she shows them the items and she's like okay these are the things that you should note and then she asked them to write what they saw down she calls the contestants and she's like okay what did you see who wrote calabash so two people stood up and they found that they wrote calabash then she said the rest should go in again and then write something and then while they were scrambling for the items Odudu did not scramble and then Tokyo was like sit down before we knew what was happening we were just two people that were competing to stay or either leave the Gouda ultimate search camp it was between Estima and Gerald apparently Estima was faster than Gerald and Gerald who everybody was calling the strongest contestant on the show was a victor from the Gouda ultimate search Search dream just died tonight. Sad, but we move. You see, you see, it's the we move <laughs> from the narrator from me. I, I'm telling you, that guy is just savage, and not only savage, he's just sarcastic. And I think now that the show continues this way, it still becomes very much more intense because now everybody's going to be careful. I wonder how the entire contestants will even want to relate with Estima now, if there's going to be tension with Estima or not. But I'm still here in the jungle and I'll be giving you all the updates right here on Lucy's Quick One. So just in case you are yet to subscribe to my channel, please do that down there and of course share your thoughts on today's eviction and the entire show. Till next time from the jungle guys, I'm signing up. Bye.